What is going on guys? Grave here. Welcome back to Call of Duty Modern Warfare. And today we did receive update 1.17, which of course brings Warzone to the game. If you're a uh, person that owns Modern Warfare, you can go ahead and play Warzone right now. If you're looking for the free version, it should be available here in the next couple hours. But with update 1.17, there were some other changes besides just ground war being added in. There's a lot of bug fixes and things like that, a lot of fixes with spec ops. I'm going to link these patch notes down in the description, but I'm going to go kind of over the high points of the patch notes. But if you'd like to read over all of it, like I said, it will be linked down in the description below. They added search and rescue, added mayhem, mosh pit, 10v10 grind, drop zone, and cranked, removed boots on the ground war. So now you're just back to regular ground war. This is a mode that a lot of people wanted. They wanted tanks out of ground war. I was kind of hoping they would leave this in as a permanent uh, playlist, but it looks like that is not the case. There's a new shotgun, the VLK Rogue. They fixed tons of bugs that were uh, with, or were not really bugs, I guess exploits on Hackney and Piccadilly. And it says various bugs for ground war and exploits uh, on ground war as well so it looks like there's a lot of changes for ground war for exploits and bugs and the same for some of the 6v6 maps they also fixed the after action report that would show uh, would display zero in the challenge field fixed a bug that would spawn players elsewhere on the map if they were using attack insert on rust uh, also fixed a bug that allowed players to deploy throwable field field upgrades during the round countdown and they also added the option to ta uh, toggle between a square or circular mini map depending on what you would like uh, some weapon changes, they restricted the, the 357 snake shot in the public playlist for the CWL, uh, or the CDL, excuse me. Also, the sawed-off shotgun, the 725, got increased movement speed and increased ADS speed, but a reduced ADS damage and a reduced far damage range. But they did extend the very lethal close range damage. So it looks like it's not going to be as good at a distance, but very lethal up close. We'll kind of have to wait and see what happens. They also fixed the corruptor variant of the RAM, not allowing the use of scopes. They fixed a bug that would create infinite ammo glitch for the Model 680. Kind of going on for some other things, a lot of mission and challenge fixes. Uh, the one for Golem's third mission, of course, to get 50 kills with light machine guns. And now any vehicle will count if you need to run over people and get a certain amount of kills. Any vehicle will count for that. A ton of classic and spec ops, classic spec ops and regular spec ops fixes. I'm not going to really go into those, but if you guys are spec ops players, you definitely might want to hop on and read over that. And for PC, of course, the crashes and improved stability. They added a new way for new players to simply kind of get into Battle.net and create an Activision account and fixed a few cases where certain social menu pop-up messages would display incorrectly in high aspect ratio, uh, ratios on PC. Anyway, guys, like I said, this is the update for today, 1.17. Like I said, of course, the big thing everybody's looking forward to is Warzone. Leave me a comment. Let me know if you've played, let, you played yet. And, of course, if you liked the video, hit the like. If you haven't subscribed yet, please do so. And I'll catch you next time. Peace.